Politicians like to talk about people trying to put food on the table, gas in the tanks. But that guy, this actor, his name is Ray Buffer. He's trying to figure out how ways to put comic books like that in his shirt. Jesus, um, as you'll soon see, this is not his first offense. Crazy how that works. But let's watch his his process. Uh, I guess his scheme, his plan of attack that apparently he took from a ten year old that would jump into comic book stores and steal comics too. Watch one more time closer. Okay, you guys, details, because this is multi layered, as I was saying. So, Southern California Comics in San Diego first leveled the accusations last week, posting footage of him stuffing his shirt with multiple books on September 29th, which is the one you saw there. The price of the collectibles, the store said in a scathing post the next day, amounted to more than 600 bucks, spurring the store to file a police report with San Diego police. Staffers have since handed over the evidence to police, including other footage that they say shows Buffer holding the books. So they kind of got him, but he got away from that when they're looking for him. At first, they had no idea who this guy was, and eventually they figured the whole thing out. But there's more. In addition to footage of Buffer's alleged boost last week, the store posted footage of the fallen star getting caught red handed by a staffer in a similar incident at an LA comic store the week prior. So even from LA stealing stuff down to San Diego stealing stuff. The video, which reportedly was captured by staffers at Metropolis Comics in Bellflower in Los Angeles area. Shows the owner confronting Buffer after appearing to see him pull the same move, pointing out that he was on camera. We're gonna watch that, but I wanna point out again, this instance that you're about to see, which was way more dramatic, that happened before he went down to San Diego and actually got away with it. This time, he didn't watch. Can I get my book back, please? I'm sorry? Can I get my book? Are you stuffing your pants? I, I didn't stuff the book there. No. All right, let me put up the story. And I need you to leave the store immediately. Leave the store immediately before I call the cop, honey. Uh, he tried to steal books here. Ooh. Sam, I have a mom put it. She put the books back, but yeah. I need you to leave the store. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me put up the storage. Okay, I'm and I need you to leave the store immediately. This guy's like the friend of your kid when he was 12, and you're like, hey. Don't hang around Ray because you know he goes in the comic book stores. You're just gonna get caught up in a bad situation. You don't know what he's doing. He's doing it. All the moves in your shirt, back out of the shirt once they catch you. And then when you get the, I saw that the heat rises on his head and the tense comes. He goes, what do I say? No, they just busted me. Uh, there's more. There's more to this, Jess. But first, your original initial thoughts. Okay, so we know I don't know a lot of things about pop culture or the DC Marvel stuff. So at first I was like, oh, this guy's, you know, a superhero movie person. No, apparently not. Uh, I no. don't understand his motivations here, but I have a theory. It's that when he was a child, he didn't get to have the comic, comic books, and now he really wants them. I don't know <laughs> if it's a financial thing. I think he has to steal for psychological reasons. It might be. It might be a little bit of both, because as you know, sometimes we ask for some of those motivations behind it. He's still just a 11 year old th a thief caught in a grown ass man's body. But the Southern California Comics Book Store in San Diego was upset about this. And they put this lengthy Facebook post where they basically said, we have to up our, our security measures, put a security person next to the most rare or most expensive comics to watch out for people like this, because they have gotten pushback from customers. They're like, you guys, man, it's over the top. We feel like we're in a you know, being watched all the time. No one likes that when you're in a store and someone following you around. As we know, that happens in many stores and that's one of the most frustrating things. But they did want to point out, it's because of people like this. More about people like this, because the store went on to, uh, to repost the actor's Facebook profile, as well as his personal email. The post was published on Thursday. It saw the store owner uh, worker say that they had already been in contact with Buffer, 
who has denied stealing the books and has gone as far as to accuse the store of harassing him. And they said this, this is my favorite part about this. She said, we, uh, they said, we offered him the choice of either returning our property. We know what he took because of an earlier part of the video was him holding the books or we turned over to the law. Sounds like a good deal. The scathing update from the store read that. He emailed us and claimed we were harassing him. Yes, we are. I mean, I guess that's one thing you can say. Uh, but you know, that's how these whole things work. He's a struggling actor. Apparently, he's doing Santa commercials for Yankee Candle and things like that. So I guess again, just with that motivation of, is it hard on hard times with work? Because apparently, he appeared in some things in the early two thousands, or he just wants that DC comic to make a couple six hundred bucks off of it. Who knows? <laughs> Only he does, and maybe the authorities as this goes. Yeah, maybe it is financial reasons. That Yankee Candle commercial, I don't know if you do that out of the, the joy of being in a Yankee Candle commercial, JR. And people take pride sometimes in actors falling on hard times or whatever. Remember Jeffrey, I forget his last name from the Cosby show, Owens. He was working at Trader Joe's and people shaming him for it. What about this? I think this is a, a, a worse approach rather than getting a job. And he wasn't ashamed of it, so happy for him. But what happens to Ray Buffer, we'll find out if you guys don't. I just learned who he was, let's keep it real.